<laughs> Originally planned to mark the Duke's 100th birthday, the film Hot Off the Satellite Folks brings many of his loved ones together. One of the games he used to enjoy playing was uh, when we used to go for family barbecues. Um, instead of a, uh, like a mustard pot, we had a mustard tube, a squeezy mustard tube. Um, and he used to take the lid off and put it in your hands. It gets you to hold it. It gets you to hold it in, in your hands and the lid's off. And I can't remember exactly what he says, but he ends up slamming your hands together. And then he'd squish your hands together to fire the mustard off the ceiling. So, for more on this, we think this is the, <laughs> the PG version. What was it? <laughs> so it was mustard. We used to do a game of, with mustard where it would squirt up and... Well, you're not listening. I just said... <laughs> <sure. laughs> Surely there are bigger things to remember than oh. mustard squirting to the ceiling. Well, I don't know. Let's ask Royal Commentator She'll know. Camilla Tomini She'll know. what her thoughts were on it. Hey, Camilla. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> um, it's um, an hour long documentary, Carl, and it's got some very respectful and reverential memories, but it's also got some wonderful childhood memories from a group of people, his grandchildren, who remember him best. So the mustard squeezing is very funny. There's another moment where Prince William talks about how he was driving with his grandfather around the Scottish Highlands and they chanced upon a group of children that obviously seemed to be doing the Duke of Edinburgh award scheme. And so Prince Philip rolls down the window and says to the children, oh, how are you getting on? To which one of the children replies something rather fruity that William suggests is go jog on, Grandpa, but I think with slightly stronger language than that. He then rolls down the window, starts chuckling and says to Prince William, the youth of today. So there are some many, many, many jokes in this documentary, which is just a wonderful series of recollections from the royals themselves. I mean, it's all very well post humorously me or other journalists writing this stuff up, but actually to hear it from his own grandchildren and children was just magical. I reckon he would have been quite the character. He had fruity language his own, didn't he? Uh, we also learned uh, more about the special bond uh, Philip had with his grandchildren, a bit more of that. Well, very much them painting a picture of somebody who was very hands-on, that used to love playing games with them, that would get go-karts out and build tracks, that would love them to come running down slides. There's some nice recollections in there as well from Prince Harry, who must have filmed this, I think, when he came back for the funeral. Why it's so light-hearted is that some of it was filmed while the Duke was still alive because the family members thought they were doing a celebration for his 100th birthday. Ah. And then, obviously, after he passed away in April, they turned it into this kind of eulogy, really. So... That's why there is this quite nice mix of the both serious and looking mm. at his career and everything that he achieved, but also the light-hearted. But as they all point out, that's what he would have wanted because he was such a down-to-earth character. He never wanted a fuss and he would always had a very good sense of humour. Um, Harry and William particularly commenting on how he and the Queen, because everything was so meticulously planned for them, would absolutely love it when things went wrong. I love it. I love that he was so hands-on and just such a... A normal grandpa, really. But I know Prince Harry uh, revealed what Philip told him before he left for Afghanistan. What did he say? Yeah, this is the typically no-nonsense Duke um, saying it as he was. So, basically, he turned around to his grandson and said, just make sure you come back alive. That was the advice that he gave to him. So, pretty frank and straight talking. I love it. I love it. Mm. It's really interesting. Good stuff. Thank you for that, Camilla. Appreciate it. Fondest memories of my grandpa, right? I was in Cairns and... Um, there was a big storm happening mm. um, in Cairns, a big storm, it was a tropical storm, and he was having, he was on the scotches one night, and I was mucking up, I was like six or seven in I refused to believe the kids' room, and he came in up. twice and said, keep it down, Carl, keep it down. And the third time, thunder hit, <laughs> and I was mucking up still, and he comes in, and, and he gave me a bit of one-two, back in the day when it was, you know, it was perfectly okay. acceptable. <laughs> and, and, and he's gone, you talk too much. <laughs> and it's Look true. where it got me, kids. <laughs> There's a lesson in that. What yeah. are you saying? Don't listen to your grandpa. No, no, just keep talking. <laughs> That's a cute story. I like hey, you that. You got one? I do. Yeah, I do, but we've run out of time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll share mine a little later. Straight